Introducing Subpa, a free subtitling tool powered by Whisper. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is Subpa and Subpa, generally put, is just a subtitle generator that's powered by OpenAI's Whisper and it automatically adds subtitles and translates to English for your videos in minutes. Completely free, 95% accuracy. So you'll need to sign up for an account. Uh, that's probably the only caveat. And uh, the features include a couple of things. It's completely free, multiple input. It supports YouTube links, highly welcome. Uh, uploading includes MP4, WAV, MP3. So you can also use audio files and then transcribe them into subtitles, etc. Especially sometimes when you have clients who don't want to send you the video. And then a subtitle editing interface, really welcome. Uh, auto saving and also security and confidentiality. So I've gone ahead and signed up and that's the only thing I've done. And you can see the supported languages and the different accuracies available right here. Uh, there could be a problem probably. Uh, this looks like the Indian flag if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but let's go to Subpa. I've signed up, only signed up, nothing else. I've not done anything else right inside here. So how do you improve the AI word recognition accuracy. So you ensure the selected video language or audio language is the same language in the uploaded file. If you need to translate, please do it in edit subtitles after generating subtitles. Number two, upload files with clear speech, less background noise, and no background music. Now, this is uh, probably standard, but sometimes some of those things you may not be able to avoid them but you can always test it out and see if it's going to work with the background music that you have. Hopefully it's not pronounced uh, in your video or audio. So uh, let's confirm and that's okay. So let's see the video we're going to be adding subtitles to is this one. And then what we want is please select the speaking language of the video uh, of the speaker in the video. Let's select English because I've done that video in English, generate subtitle language, Please select the subtitle language generated by AI. I still want English. That's fine. So upload file. At most, 500 concurrent transcribing projects are supported. Number two, you can upload video files up to 15 minutes in duration, 500 MB in file size. That probably may, might be a little bit uh, of a caveat if you have longer videos. So let's get this uh, the link to this video, copy, and then go back to Subpa and the Website link, I'll leave it in the description below. Click on YouTube link and then add it. And then click on confirm. Scroll down slightly. This is the subtitle, uh, the YouTube link I want to use. Click on generate subtitles now. So it's creating our project. And normally with this, we don't know how long it's going to take, but hopefully it doesn't take long. It's picked up the title of the video, the way it looks up on YouTube, uh, the create date. It gives you the date it was created. If you had set out deadline, CTC, and so on, the language, and then the status it is transcribing. So uh, you have to wait uh, for this to be done. Uh, but we'll give it a couple of seconds and see how it does it because I'd really like to see uh, the interface. I've seen like screenshots of it, but looks like the interface is really, really good for an online editor. Uh, if you want to use it online without having to download stuff on your computer or even having to have a dedicated GPU to use uh, to help you transcribe things faster and also subtitle your videos. Uh, let's give it a couple of seconds and then we'll come back and see how the subtitles look like. Once the transcription process is completed, you'll now see the transcribed uh, icon uh, showing like this. It's no longer transcribing, it's now transcribed. I can click on edit subtitles or even download. Let's click on download and see what we get. When I click on download, you get the option to download a subtitle SRT file and a text file, a word file, a CSV file, and so on and so forth. Now, when you select a subtitle file, SRT, that's the way it is. If you choose a text file, you have the option to select either text, just text, text time code, text detailed time codes. So really depends on what you want. And also you can select all. A Word document, you have the same options. And also 
for the uh, CSV file, you have a text time code and text detailed time code. Highly welcome. Uh, but let's go back. Let's cancel and say we want to edit our subtitles. Click on edit subtitles. So this is what you'll see. Tips for subtitling tools. Press shift plus enter when editing subtitles to segment subtitles. Refer to the shortcut keys list below the subtitles preview and use shortcut keys together to effectively speed up the production of subtitles. To use translation function, press in the tool to convert subtitle track into the corresponding language. Uh, or actually just click on this, could be. You can use the translation function after proofreading the original subtitles, which is more accurate. Use the search and replace function to edit subtitles in bulk. So click on confirm. And this is what the subtitles look like. Now, uh, if I play slightly, can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes. And this is why. If a PDF is edited... I believe the subtitles have been really done well. They may need to tweak some few settings uh, so that you can see the exact uh, how good they are and also review and see if you need to make any changes. Now, if you'd like to change anything, you can just click on the uh, text box here and maybe change if it's a punctuation, if it's a spelling and so on and so forth. So you edit your subtitles here and then uh, you have the different options here. You can actually even upload a subtitle from this section, which is really, really awesome. Uh, show current track only and then we've got the translate subtitle track you can click on that and then translate to the different uh, languages supported at the time of recording this video so let's just cancel that because we don't want to uh, actually get that uh, for some reason you cannot see these subtitle uh, shortcuts here below because uh, I believe the way the way this particular application is done, uh, you cannot see this slightly. I can actually not see it clearly because of this particular slider down here. So it would be awesome if they fix that uh, to make this available over the uh, like the toolbar down here. Uh, but all in all, although the transcription process uh, seems to take a, a while, my belief is just from looking at this uh, transcript provided here that this is doing a really, really good job. Uh, and it's probably something that will be of uh, applicable for anyone doing a ton of videos uh, that are not longer than 15 minutes at the time of recording this video. And as we've mentioned, you can download the subtitles, but there's something better. You can now embed subtitles, and this is burning subtitles. And I'll click on embed subtitles. You can choose a background style that is no background. And then we have sub uh, this particular style. And then we can select the subtitle track, English AI. Uh, that's what we want. And then select this. Once you're satisfied, click on submit. Now, once you submit, uh, everything is going to be appended as you want it. And this is actually a request. Seems like you have, uh, uh, we've made a new request there and it's in progress. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to burn in the subtitles to the video because the transcription process took a while uh, but this is just an introduction to subpar or subtitlewhisper.com a website that is free that you can use to generate subtitles for your videos export transcripts export subtitles and even burn in subtitles to your videos that's it for this video and that's subpar until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching